Hey everyone, this is Isaac, and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a parallax effect to your photos. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is add the picture that you want to put the effect on. I'm going to use this man standing on a hill. And then, using the object selection tool, I'm going to select our subject and the ground that he's standing on. As you can see, Photoshop doesn't detect it, so by using the quick selection tool, I'm going to do it manually. Once we're happy with the selection, I'm going to duplicate the selection by pressing Command J. And then I'm going to make the selection of the new layer by holding Command and pressing the layer or on PC Control, I'm going to make the new layer invisible. I'm going to select the old layer, go to Select, Modify, Expand, and I'm going to expand it by 7 pixels. As you can see, the selection is bigger now. Then I'm going to go to Edit, Fill, and I'm going to Content Aware Fill it. Just press OK. As you can see, the subject is gone. Photoshop did a pretty good job, but as you can see, there are still some signs of the man. I'm going to clean it up manually using the healing brush tool. Once you're happy with the background, we can make our layer with the man visible again. And then I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to go with a 1080p resolution. I'm going to go back to our first project. Using the selection tool, I'm going to select the two layers drag them over to the new project. I'm going to position them so I'm happy with how it looks. When we're finished with the positioning of our images, I'm going to turn the background layer into a smart object by right-clicking on it and pressing Convert to Smart Object. I'm going to go to Window and select Timeline. I'm going to press Create Video Timeline. Now that we have our timelines, I'm going to press these two arrows to drop down these settings. I'm going to select our background layer and I'm going to press this little stopwatch to create our first keyframe. I'm going to position the background to fit a little bit better. And then I'm going to drag this to the end of the timeline. I can select the subject layer, right click it and convert it to a smart object. Then I'm going to drop down this arrow again and we have this transform option again. I'm going to go to the start of the timeline. I'm going to click the stopwatch to create the first keyframe and then I'm going to go to the end of the timeline. And then I'm going to press the diamond again to create a new keyframe. I'm going to make the subject smaller. I'm going to position it so it looks nice. Now that we've done that, let's watch what we made. Then what you can do is import a dust particle overlay which you can download on YouTube, set the blending mode to screen and then I'm going to make it fill over the entire screen, place it over our two layers, this is how it looks. After putting the blending mode as screen, this is the results we get. And that's it for this video. If you found this video useful, subscribe for more tutorials like this one. Check the description below for the links of all my socials, and if you have any questions or future video requests, leave them down in the comments below. 